Welcome to Coffee, Eggs and Inspiration. In this video, I'm going to give you a review of my Super 73 S2 model. Here it is in Hudson Blue, one year on. Let's go. Well, this was a gift to self during lockdown. Uh, it's a Super 73 S2 model. I live in London, so this is the EU model, and uh, that means it comes with a, a couple of uh, things that are different uh, versus the US model. The first is that it's got gears, um, not as an option, but as standard. Actually, I find I don't use them. And uh, the second is that it's not fitted with a throttle. It just comes as the um, pedal assist only, uh, though you can fit a throttle, which I've done. Uh, as an aftermarket uh, addition. I've added a few accessories as you can probably see here. I've got this uh, helmet, um, that's not an accessory, but a, a more of a necessity. Uh, it's from a company called Dot uh, and it's quite cool because it comes with these um, ear warmers which in the colder months uh, are, quite, uh, are quite helpful. It's got a nice sort of peak on it uh, and I think it goes with the style of the, uh, of the bike. I've fitted this Blackburn bag which sort of just hangs off under, uh, underneath. Um, this is the, I think the medium size, not the large size, uh, but it's big enough uh, to fit my chain. I've got a kryptonite uh, lock chain um, in here and that just dangles, uh, dangles off. Uh, the other thing I've fitted uh, down here um, are the uh, uh, foot pegs and um, that's helpful because quite frequently my wife and I go riding together, she sits on the back and it's helpful to have those foot pegs. Uh, I use a ram mount um, up the top here, uh, which is great for fitting an iPhone I use uh, uh, or a, um, uh, an Android device. I've actually got an Android device but a Google Pixel, uh, but I use that quite frequently for navigation. I just have Google Maps uh, running. I have put an alarm uh, in here and it's just operated with a sort of remote. That's on. Uh, and if I then uh, wobble it, it'll give me a buzz. And then go off. So uh, it's quite a good uh, little accessory, it just straps on under there, and that means if somebody's even trying to tinker with it, uh, or nudges it, it will give them a warning, that sort of initial buzz, and then uh, set off the sirens. And I think that's probably important. These are fairly sought after bikes, and although I always lock it with a big, hefty kryptonite chain, this is just another layer of protection, I think, that will just put uh, people off. Um, I've got some mirrors on it. These are Hafni mirrors um, in the tube. Uh, so they sort of just have a plug that fits in there and you tighten them up, uh, one on each side. And I have them fitted um, so they sort of drop under and I think that sort of just suits the style of the bike a lot better. I think those are the main accessories that I use. Um, the throttle is up here uh, on the handlebar and um, all of these accessories are um, detailed in a, another video which you can see up here. Uh, I'll link it uh, also below um, and you can uh, see how I fit the throttle uh, in a separate video also up here and I'll link it below uh, so check that out. As far as the accessories go, uh, the one complaint I would have uh, is that Super 73 originally advertised a back rack and a side uh, a set of side panel uh, racks so you can put pannier bags on it and I did order one of those actually they, they had a back box as well um, I ordered um, all of those uh, in fact and eventually they, they obviously decided not to stop them the order was cancelled and I was refunded the money uh, but um, if there's one thing I really really miss on this it's a little bit more storage that uh, bag that hangs here is just for my chain um, I, would, I could really do with some uh, side um, panels and some side pannier bags, possibly even a back box. Um, my wife also tells me when she's on it, uh, it's, it's quite easy to sort of, um, or you feel vulnerable to slipping off the back. 
Uh, I've got a friend who's, a, who's got one of these and he actually bought a, a back rest which is, the, um, uh, which is the style of back rest that is often fitted to Harley Davidson's. He managed to, I think he had to drill a hole or two to, to put that on so it's more of a customised thing. So that'd be one downside. I think the, um, you know, it would be a lot better to have more accessories. Uh, another downside uh, I would point out is that um, in this style, and I prefer this style, it's only got front suspension, so no back suspension. The RX model comes with back suspension as well. And even riding around um, a city, you know, on paved surfaces, um, London's got some um, pretty bumpy roads, admit admittedly, poorly maintained perhaps, uh, it can get a little bit jarring on the bump. So I think if I, if I bought another one today, I'd probably go for the RX model just because it's a little, uh, a little smoother with that front and rear suspension. Though I do prefer the look of this. Uh, I think it's a cool sort of old uh, cruiser style um, look and I really like that. On the upside, I think the battery is pretty good. You know, I find it's um, good for about uh, 24 to 30 miles uh, on its highest um, power setting, so maximum assist, level four on this bike. Um, it's uh, more than enough for two return trips for me into the west end of London and back, and then I just charge it overnight. So um, pretty good battery, uh, I enjoy that. Uh, the speed is great. Um, I, uh, I have um, decoupled this and set it in off-road uh, mode through the app. Uh, there's another video up here <laughs> that shows you how to do that. And when I've got it on that higher setting, you do have a lot more power, particularly if you operate the, uh, the throttle. Obviously, that's um, uh, for off-road use only. But when you do use the throttle uh, and have the maximum power, it will give you uh, it will give you a really good speed, uh, I find, between 28 and 30 miles an hour, which is plenty uh, for uh, most, uh, most uses. The headlights and the taillight are great. You never have to think about sort of reflectors uh, on the body or uh, additional uh, lighting for, for your helmet or anything uh, else like that. It's a, it's a massively uh, bright light uh, and um, you know, those work really well. And I love the tyres as well. The tyres are big tyres. You get the sense of stability as you would on a motorcycle. Uh, even if you're um, sort of running over, let's say, tram lines and things like that, it sort of handles that sort of stuff with ease. They're big bulbous tyres, so that gives you um, a bit of comfort. Seat's pretty good as well. It's like a foam, a memory foam seat, and uh, you know, it's, it's quite comfortable. As I said, if I got another one today, I'd probably get one with back suspension just to get that extra layer of comfort, but overall, it's really comfortable. Also, the brakes, um, they're disc brakes, front and back, and they're really, really powerful uh, disc brakes, and um, they, they stop the bike really effectively. Uh, they're also electronically linked. So if you are pedaling in pedaling assist mode and you hit the brakes, it will stop that power assist rather than have the brakes work against the engine, uh, the electric motor, so to speak. Um, the mudguard, it's a tiny little thing here uh, on the front. Um, there's a bigger one on the back. Uh, on the front in particular, I do find if I'm riding in the wet, it will kick up a bit of um, water and I'll get that in my face. So, you know, maybe a bigger mudguard uh, would be good. Um, and then, um, you know, finally, uh, I, I really love the fact that I can carry a passenger on it and it's got such a cool look. You, you know, it never gets old, right? People uh, come up to you all the time and ask you what it is and they're, they're pretty rare uh, still, um, at least in, in London, uh, England, uh, where I live. Hopefully that was useful. Uh, do link in um, to the other videos that I've, uh, I've put below if you're interested in uh, a deeper dive on the accessories and instructional on how to um, delimit de the, the speed and fit a throttle uh, or uh, anything else that I've mentioned. Thanks very much and enjoy your riding.